afternoon, everybody. The Crisis Center of Tampa Bay helped 273 rape victims in Hillsborough last year. And sadly, that's less than a third of the sexual assaults that happened last year. What happened to the other victims? Well, since the 1970s, advocates nationwide have held vigils during the month of April to raise awareness of services that are available to sexual violence victims in their community. It's called Take Back the Night. And here in the Tampa Bay area, the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay hosts the inspiring event. We're happy to say it's outgrown two prior venues and is now being moved to Curtis Hickson Park in downtown Tampa. The event includes a resource fair, a candlelight vigil, an inspiring uh, pledge ceremony, and a whole lot more. It's set for April the 29th. And joining us with more is Marilyn Bray, who is chair of the Sexual Violence Task Force of Tampa Bay and also with the Crisis Center. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Lizette. April 29th is the date for this year. A lot of folks ask, why is it called Take Back the Night? And I think the name is very symbolic. Can you explain to our viewers why? Absolutely. Take Back the Night is really about reclaiming one's life and feeling safe at night, feeling safe in, in our own skin. And so we see it as symbolic of not just to take back April 29th, but to take back all of the nights for mm -hmm. sexual violence survivors. The resource fair is something that a lot of folks who attend say is very enlightening for them. Um, tell, explain that to our viewer who may not understand what it is. The beginning of the day, we're going to start it off with a resource fair and a music fest. In the resource fair, we have over 62 organizations and agencies that will be present with information. Referrals can be made at that time, and it's an opportunity for community members to really see what services are available. And at the same time, we'll have survivors that will be sharing their inspiration through song and dance. Mm -hmm. What happened last year? You were sharing with me that something uh, interesting happened last year in terms of the calls that came in right after last year's Take Back the Night. Can you share that with our viewers? Because of all the media attention and all of the awareness that was spread for Take Back the Night and Sexual Assault Awareness Month, we actually saw an increase of the survivors that were served at the Crisis Center. We provide all of the forensic exams to anyone that is sexually assaulted in Hillsborough County, and we can provide those with or without a police report and we saw an increase of survivors that received help, hope, and healing, which is absolutely amazing. And men have an important role to play in the, in the ceremony. Tell us about the pledge. Yes, we have a men's pledge, which gives men an opportunity to commit, commit um, to condone and to remain silent mm -hmm. about men's violence, and specifically sexual and domestic violence. And so this is an opportunity for men to come out, take this pledge, and we will receive $5 for every man that does so. How many folks are you expecting this year? Oh my goodness, we hope over a thousand, and hopefully with your help and the awareness and people promoting this event, we will see an influx of people supporting survivors. Well, thank you, Marilyn, for coming in. We look forward to seeing you out there. We are, will be the MC. We're very excited about that. It's such a, an inspiring event. Again, it happens on April the 29th at 4 o'clock. They start the resource fair and the music fest. At 6 p.m., they have the pledge ceremony with the men, and at 7 p.m., the candlelight vigil and perhaps the most inspiring part of, uh, of all, the speak out with survivors. For more detailed information, you can visit the Crisis Center online. Again, take a look April the 29th in downtown Tampa at Curtis Hickson Park. The activities begin at 4 and end at 9 p.m. and it's free and open to everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. For more Positively Tampa Bay, don't forget to follow me on Facebook.